Yeah, look, it's probably relatively similar to other years. It's, it's somewhat a loaded question because we probably don't know the answer with a lot of these young guys for another two to three years if we're being fair to them. Um, obviously, people expect a lot of the, you know, the top 10 and first round picks. Yeah, look, there's, there's always a lot of good talent going around the country. Uh, the demands put on these kids nowadays are, are pretty massive and so expectation is great. But it's probably a little bit deeper in, on the East Coast than what it is on the West Coast this year. So that's probably a, a slight difference. Shuey, burst through. He's a prime mover and he kicks a terrific goal off the left. Areas of need come under consideration, but I, um, we tend to probably look particularly at your first pick as perhaps pick who we think the best player is. You know, everyone goes about big body midfields. They seem to be the uh, flavour of the month, but um, I think there's a lot of small midfielders do a pretty good job too, or smaller. We call small now six foot in metric terms because I'm an older person, 183. But yeah, look, they, they see the Nat Fifes and, and so forth running around who are terrific players, don't get me wrong, but they don't come along that often. So, look, I think they'd like to bolster their midfield, which most clubs would like to do, but it's very hard to draft a, a young player out of this draft and expect him to, to really have a great impact on the performance of your team next year. They, they can play, sure, but there's not a lot of players ever come straight out and really impact, I guess, your team's result the following year. You should be looking at your second and third and fourth year players to sort of step up and do that role whilst these young guys develop. The West Coast Eagles have traded their first pick in next month's national draft. The Eagles handed Collingwood pick six for the Magpies pick 11 as part of a deal that will deliver Yo to West Coast. In, ter in terms of swapping picks a la last year, I, I think that's always uh, up for debate. Um, depends what you get offered, I guess. You know, sitting at pick 11, whether someone comes at you with you know 14 and 21 for 11 or something along those lines. I think one of the clubs did it from memory. So yeah, look, it's always a consideration. It's nice to bring yourself back in to those top 25 picks. Um, but I think we decided this year that we'll stick with 11 and run with that in 32 and, and uh, be done with it.